On the road to 2020 this morning, the crowded Democratic field is getting a new candidate. Billionaire Tom Steyer announced his bid in a campaign video. We have a society that's very unequal, and it's really important for people to understand that this society is connected. And Steyer will be here in Studio 57 on Thursday for his first TV interview since announcing his run. Ed O'Keefe is tracking the race from Washington. Ed, you talked to Steyer in February. What did he tell you back then? Well, Tony, at the time, he said he wouldn't run for president, saying he wanted to focus instead on increasing public support for impeaching President Trump. But now Steyer's campaign says he'll focus initially on environmental policy and ways to revamp the nation's political system. The 62-year-old billionaire former hedge fund manager from California is a major Democratic Party donor and environmental activist. His decision to jump in comes as another Californian, Congressman Eric Swalwell, announced he's dropping out of the presidential race, the first candidate to do so since the debates. Ed, Massachusetts Senator Elizabeth Warren announced some big second quarter fundraising totals, but how does she stack up against the rest of the field? Yeah, pretty well. She says she raised a little more than $19 million in the last three months. That's more money raised in the past quarter than every candidate except former Vice President Joe Biden and South Bend, Indiana Mayor Pete Buttigieg. But as she pointed out last night in New Hampshire, Warren's raising her money a little differently. I don't go to closed door fundraisers. I don't hang out with millionaires and corporate CEOs. I am building a grassroots movement, and I think as Democrats, we should ask that of every single one of them. One other note from the road to 2020. Next year, Democrats in Iowa and Nevada will have the option to cast votes using one of these. So-called telecaucusing is designed to make it easier for older or disabled people or people stuck at work to participate in caucuses that are held at set times. Tony? Very interesting, Ed. I think there might be a piece in our future about that phone voting thing. I do too. 2019, things change. Thank you very much, Ed. Always good to see you, Ed.